How to create a banker's lamp. Delete the default cube and create a sphere. Go into edit mode and into wireframe. Delete the bottom half and delete one side of the half sphere. Now tap back into solid view, select the edge, extrude, and now put a modifier, a mirror modifier. With clipping turn on, we pull it away from each other. Now select the bottom edge and pull it downwards by extruding. To make it have some thickness, we're going to add the solidify modifier. Crank it up to, yeah. We're also going to add a subsurface modifier. Now tab out of edit mode in object mode, let's create a sphere. Scale it down, go to edit mode, and let's add another modifier, mirror modifier. Put it right here. Perfect. And then we are going to make the stand thing. I'll show you tab back into object mode and let's create a cylinder. This cylinder will not have 32 vertices, it will have 8. Rotate it on the y-axis and scale it. Pull it up. Let's go into edit mode. Let's use the mirror modifier and let's turn the clipping on again. Perfect. Now let's make this thinner. Okay, perfect. Let's pull this over here and let's align it by pressing 7. And now let's go to wireframe. Selecting these edges only, pull it. Now we're going to use the spin tool. So with this selected, click on the cursor and place the cursor somewhere over here. And then click the spin tool and spin, spin, spin. If the angle is not correct, just go down here and type in the right angle. Perfect. And now let's extrude it. Okay, perfect. Maybe a little more. Now let's grab this whole thing and just resize it a little bit. It's looking good. Let's pull it down. Now let's tap into solid view and then object view. Perfect. Now let's create the base. Create a cylinder. This time we will have 16 vertices. Move it off across here into the middle. Let's tab into edit mode and let's flatten it. Let's scale it wider. Okay, so now let's go to face select and let's just um, make the base. So let's go to inset and then extrude and then inset again and then extrude again <laughs> and then scale it together a little bit like this.
Now let's create the attachment right over here. Let's grab everything and put it across here. And go back to object mode and let's move our cursor to that point right here. So we can click shift S and then cursor to select it. From there, we are going to create another uh, cylinder. And let's um, go back to edit mode, go to face select, click this and bring it up. Now all we gotta do is to put some loop cuts and this part will be finished. I will be right back. Perfect, and now we are finished with the banker's lamp, the modeling part only. We can also add a light bulb right here. And if you would like to know how to make a light bulb, I actually made a tutorial and I will leave the link down below in the description box or in the card above. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you later. Bye.